Hello, everybody. Welcome back to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. I'm Jim Powers, the voice of the Saints. Glad to have you back with us. Hope everybody had a fantastic holiday last weekend, but it's now ready to get back full tilt into all the great winter sports here at Maryville. And joining me is a man that has done such a phenomenal job here at Maryville, the head coach of the wrestling program, Mike Denny. And Mike, it's already off to a great start for the wrestling team. They're doing well in spite of me, Jim. <laughs> oh, come on now. It's got to have a little bit to do with coaching. Well, I, I do take credit for getting him here. so <laughs> <laughs> No doubt. Um, Lid Lifter was a couple weekends ago. Let's talk about how that went and how some of the young men have uh, started to get the season started. Well, these last two tournaments, you know, we, we went to the uh, Central Missouri, University of Central Missouri Open, and then the, the Lindenwood Open, tough tournaments. You know, a lot of Division One wrestlers, top teams. Uh, you know, Oklahoma State's ranked right at the top. University of Missouri is ranked at the top. Uh, you know, so they're bringing their whole team. So we get a chance to go against the best. So this is good. This is what we try to do early in the season. And in our tournament, you know, coming up here this Saturday, uh, you know, the Kaufman Brand Open, uh, we'll get Illinois, we'll get some Iowa wrestlers, we'll get Missouri wrestlers, we'll get Northern Illinois. We'll, we'll get some really good Division One plus some of the top Division Two. And over at the University of Central Missouri Open, Central Oklahoma was there. I think they're ranked third in Division Two, so we got a chance to, to match up against some of their guys. So these open tournaments are really good for us. We get a chance to wrestle a lot of different uh, styles, a lot of different, you know, you know wrestlers from Division One, Division Two. Division three, NEIA, junior college, right. and you, but a good wrestler is a good wrestler, Absolutely. no matter what what division they're in. You may think, you know, some of the the junior college guys, well, you know, they're just freshmen, sophomores. Let me tell you, they got they got some tough guys. So, you know, we've got some guys that have been doing well, that've been placing, and and really both of these opens. Uh, one thing nice about Lindenwood, uh, the Lindenwood tournament, it had a younger division. Mm -hmm. So Jarrett Singh, our 125 pounder, placed fourth, and Travis Lang got second in that. And then, of course, in the open uh, division. Uh, we call him Big Bear, but Donnell Walker got second, lost a really close match in the finals to the Oklahoma State guy, but had beaten the University of Missouri starter in the semifinals, and then Dimitri Willis gets fourth for us. So uh, that was that was a good finish, you know, against some tough competition. And we had some guys that were one match, a bunch of guys, you know, Nick Burkhart, Zeb Wall, a bunch of guys that were uh, one match from placing in that. So and they both had placed in the central, you know, central Missouri tournament. So we got some guys that are competing well against the top guys and they're young right. we're young we're a young team uh, you know we're we're freshmen sophomores and just a couple of seniors so uh uh, we're, we're a young team. You know, talk a little bit about it. And I remember seeing Big Bear at the state championships and getting a young man like him to come to Maryville kind of, you know, speaks volumes for what you and the coaching staff has brought here to Maryville University. Well, you know, when we when I watched, uh, uh, we call him Big Bear, wrestle in the state tournament, you know, he pinned the defending yes, state champ did. in the finals. And, uh, you know, he's just from Parkway South down here, all state football player, state champion in wrestling and won the state in the shot put. So, uh, you know, right away I, I talked to Mickey about him maybe throwing the shot for him because here's a young man that could do two sports, mm -hmm. especially wrestling and track. Right. It's tough to do football and wrestling. I did that in college, but it certainly was a different game then, you know, as far as just the time commitment now and the level we're at. It's tough, but they can, you know, and he's, he, he's going to do well in the shot put, too, and maybe the hammer, uh, you know, for Mickey, uh, uh, Coach Kaufman. So uh, he'll be a two-sporter, and I think he could really make some things happen here. Uh, he's he's doing well. He's only a redshirt freshman. You know, we've got a bunch of redshirt freshmen that we redshirted last year that are into the lineup now. I think that, uh, you know, Greg Haggerty's one of them. Uh, uh, Josh Fisher's one of them, and Zeb Wall's one of them. You know, these are young, you know, young guys that uh, we got in the lineup now. I think that can make a difference for us at the Division II national level. You know, I remember, too, and you just mentioned about, you know, Donnell beating the defense. He just so happens to be the center for the University of Missouri's football team, Evan Bame, who was just, you know, and once again, it just kind of talks about, you know, getting those types of kids, staying close to home, and especially St. Louis is a hotbed for wrestling. Yes, there's some really good individuals here. You know, matter of fact, we have Ethan Sherritts right over here from Whitfield, you know, a state champion. Uh, you know, we've got some guys, uh, 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 Jesse uh, Cerniski, uh, Nick Smith, we got, you know, five of our seven guys were from Missouri. You know, Derek Lapaya, Jarrett Singh. Those are both nationally ranked guys uh, coming out of, uh, you know, coming. And, yeah, I'm not patting ourselves on the bank, but we had our 
we're the third ranked recruiting class in the nation as far as Division Two. And I, what does that mean? I'm not sure. But we do. You know, we're we're getting some some of these good Missouri. We and of course, you know, there's uh, the surrounding states here are good. But we really feel like you know we want to offer opportunities to these top Missouri uh, wrestlers. I and mean, why wouldn't we want to? Absolutely. And uh, so we, I've been really working hard at getting out. Now, I recruited, you know, when we were up at, the, at, the, at our other university, I recruited Missouri, but not to the extent we're doing now. That wasn't like our main base. We got, we certainly over the years had had some good wrestlers from the from, from Missouri. But, uh, you know, Maryville is right here in the heart of St. Louis, and we want to offer opportunities to not only the area wrestlers, but the state. And so we've, we've really been, I've been working really hard on doing that. Because I, I, one of the things that we've we've noticed is that the high school wrestling in Missouri right now is, is up. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's good. You go to that state tournament, and then you see where all, all these other college coaches are in there nibbling, and, and uh, so you know that's pretty, pretty darn good. We feel like if we can get, you know, some of these top guys, we can compete at the national level uh, in Division Two tournament this weekend right here at Maryville and over at Westminster Christian Academy. It's going to be a good one. Yes, it will be. You know, this this one is, you know, <laughs> has a hold of my heart because this is the 35th year for this tournament. Mm -hmm. We started this tournament 35 years ago at our other university. And then a couple years after that, we named it after Ryan Kaufman, who had been in, was a national champion for us and, and actually coached with me for 10 years. Right. Got killed in a car accident. Uh, a wife, two little girls, they were like seven and six at the time. And it was just, it was devastating to our team. Our team dedicated, you know, every match after that to him. And we won the national championship that year and kind of in honor of, of, of him, uh, won the conference and the, and the national tournament or the regional and the national tournament. So we we brought this tournament down with us. And the first year here, we actually put his wife and his two little girls in our Kaufman Hall of Fame because awesome. this hall, this tournament has had such a uh, you know a following and a reputation for so many years that we have a hall of fame with it you know people that have contributed you know through the years and we're going to do the same thing this year but um, Denise Kaufman we put her in the hall of fame well her little girls now are grown and have children of their own oh wow so you realize yeah, the absolutely. history of this absolutely. because uh, uh, and she is just what a great uh, woman she is and and to have her there and I, honestly, I had tears in my eyes the whole time because it goes back. Well, it went back 34 years. Absolutely. Uh, you know, so uh, it was it was big. So we're, we're this year we're, we're going to put uh, Craig and Amanda, that's his daughter Peterson, in because they have helped us with this tournament for years. Awesome. They're from Western Nebraska. They always drove in and helped us. They were connected with some of our wrestlers. They he had coached them in club and little league, and. Uh, so we're going to put them in the Hall of Fame. It's a big moment for them, big moment for us. We do that right at the start of the tournament. And this is this is unique. We're calling it a wrestling extravaganza. I don't know any other place that's doing this. We have a high school tournament, the Westminster uh, Invitational, 12 teams, is going on in one gym. And then we're in the other two gyms just down the hallway. And we have our tournament, you know, 250 to 300 wrestlers from Oh, I think we'll have you know maybe 20 teams sure. and uh, represented with wrestlers, and they can just walk back and forth and watch great high school wrestling and great college wrestling. Quite a quite an event, really. Uh, we're kind of patting ourselves on the back Absolutely. for this, but, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Westminster, they're, they're, those coaches there have uh, just been tremendous, and Westminster has been tremendous to us. So we're we're we, we, we're really appreciative of the partnership there that we have. Uh, uh, so. It, it's been a great match. Absolutely. Well, we're looking forward to it. We'll talk to you next Monday and recap that and kind of talk about some of the other things that are going to be going on over Christmas break. Well, thanks very much, Jim. Appreciate We appreciate you. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Coach Mike Denny joins us talking a lot about wrestling here at Maryville. And believe me, if you've never been to a match, you need to get here to see one. Once again, this Saturday, the Brand Kaufman Invitational over at Westminster Christian Academy right across the street here. Make sure you stop on by, see some great college wrestling as well as some great high school wrestling as well. For Coach Denny, I'm Jim Powers, the Voice of the Saints. Glad to have you with us right here on MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints!